The first person shooter genre is getting two AAA titles this year, Call of Duty Vanguard and Battlefield 2042. Here's everything we know so far about both the game's guns, maps, story, and rank modes. Starting off with the Vanguard guns, because of a leaked image, we know that the Snowstorm, the Thunderhead, the Breacher, and the Frontline are going to be pre-order bonuses along with three operators. Link to that will be in the description. There's also been game footage of the Car 98 and World War II Trench Shotgun. When it comes to Battlefield 2042, a Redditor known as the Real Space Host took the time to identify every weapon in the reveal trailer, and so we know for a fact that we are getting, as far as assault rifles, M583, AK24, 4V9, and the Scar H. When it comes to marksman rifles, we're getting the Chukavan SVCH DSR1 TG24. When it comes to launchers, we're getting the Carl Gustav. When it comes to SMGs, we're getting the Vector PBX9 and the K30. When it comes to LMGs, we're getting the PKP Pitkakshka and more. Moving on to the Vanguard maps, and word on the street is that we're getting 16 new maps, but none of them have been leaked. But supposedly, they are bringing back a fan favorite, London Docks, which should be fun. Comment down below what map you want them to bring back, if any, from the last World War II game. Now we got the Battlefield 2042 maps, while also promising to bring back fan favorite maps from previous titles. The 2042 devs posted this about their maps, and I quote, The maps in Battlefield 2042 allow for all new gameplay experiences with unprecedented scales and choices in gameplay. With the introduction of 128 players, each map is designed with multiple distinct combat areas that directly impact strategy for you and your squad. Then, they have their own version of creative called Battlefield Portal where, and I quote, you can rediscover classic maps of Battlefield 1942, Battlefield Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3, or change the rules of war by adding a modern twist using content from Battlefield 2042. Moving on to the Vanguard story mode, as of right now, we don't know if it's going to have a story mode in Vanguard, but the trailer comes out this Friday, the 19th. And so we shall see. But when it comes to Battlefield 2042, we know that there isn't going to be a story mode. They're focusing on multiplayer as this is the first new groundbreaking title DICE have released in around 20 years. And can you really blame them for not adding a story mode with that being the case? The community needs them to pull it through and I feel like they will, but only time will tell. Last but not least, there's ranked for competitive players like myself. And when it comes to Vanguard, there's something that's very good for the COD community right now, which is rumors from trusted sources that there will be a ranked playlist at launch, hopefully ELO, and there's going to be heavy support throughout the year, and they actually have a roadmap for competitive, which is very exciting. When it comes to Battlefield 2042, DICE have already confirmed that it will not have any featured rank modes when the game launches, though it is open to player feedback on the matter, so they might potentially add one later down the line of the game's lifespan. But to be honest, I'm not too upset that they don't have a ranked mode because Battlefield has really never been that kind of game. It's more of a war-like sandbox, and I can't wait till it's here. Although I'm still more excited for Cold War, I will be playing Battlefield, but for me, it's cut or die. Subscribe for more competitive FPS tips, game updates, and equipment reviews.